All right, welcome back to Cradle. I think we are nearing the end of the audiobook segment. Though then again, I'm sure there's going to be more reading with the talking dialogue and looking at stuff outside. So maybe this is just a very, very, very wordy game. But surely it's nothing to this extreme level once we're done with this, this room. But we'll see. Let's get to reading so we can actually do something else today. And I forgot to turn on the radio. Should have done that last time. Yeah, Passium 433. We did read that. But here, to the center of the sphere, newspaper article. We are one and a half kilometers outside the contamination sphere. Did I not read this? I can't remember. Crossing the outer perimeter. The toxin content is low here, and the risk of damage to the nervous system negligible. I don't think I've read this. We're headed toward the center. 140 meters to the sphere border. Warning signs are everywhere. Beyond this point, the exposure rises sharply. Inside the marked perimeter, the nervous system ceases operation. We are minutes away from slipping into unconsciousness. Oh boy. 40 meters to the sphere border. We have made it to the deadly frontier. We are looking at a tall enclosure. We are not going to go any further. Only mechanical equipment is capable of functioning inside the sealed off area. Zero meters. The lens of our scouting drone is right at the border to the con contamination sphere marked by a grey tinge in the earth. The area on the other side is hardly researched and remains inaccessible even for machinery. Many a mystery is hidden inside the sphere. What are the amorphous dots rising from the ground along the border? What is the cause of the sphere's ostensibly arbitrary effect on the organic human body, which disintegrates at twice the rate of all other creatures? And of course, what's happening at the center of the sphere? Jan Rujevic? I don't know. Expert opinion. We know next to nothing about the processes transpiring at the epicenter of desperate toxin emission. There is but one claim we can confidently make. That space operates under unique physical properties. Thus far, we've observed inconceivable phenomena, such as microwave radiation vanishing, pushing us to con consider truly fantastical theories. One such theory suggests that a radio signal sent to the epicenter doesn't just vanish, but travels through time. Definitely haven't read that. Graph displaying the effect of product quotient on consumer demand. Notes added by hand. No thanks. And benevolent heavens. Remind Tab about covers. Yeah, I think I read these ones. 2065, Woman's Year of the Bird Tree, a Tibetan astro astrological calendar. Didn't read all of them. Yeah, definitely read that. Okay, wasn't there something under here as well? Oh, found the remote. Turn on. Can't seem to use. I guess that's for the, the TV. Oh! I can use the remote to turn it on, but we'll need to power it up first. Well, hey! That confirms that we can do it! I don't know. Don't want to save that. I'm just gonna, like... Put it there. There we go. So we need to turn it on, but the power button is jammed. But, like, it doesn't seem to have power. And why doesn't it have power? I guess the house? No, I mean, the house has power. I'm not sure. And then, I thought I saw, like, a piece of paper under here, but I guess not. What's, what's that? Yeah, that's the same we've seen. Seven covers per pack. And I did read these ones, right? Nope. I was standing in line today with a woman with her daughter. The child was having her Passium capsule replaced for the third time this month. An emotional teenager, no doubt. After the girl recovered from the attack, she cheered up immediately and asked her mother, Why does the capsule become so heavy when filled? To which her mother replied, ask your chemistry teacher. So I thought to myself, indeed, why does it? I don't know. So is like, I guess all humanity is gone and everyone is just these robot people trying to take care of each other? I'm assuming I also have a mechanical body 
We'll have to see. Alright, now this desk. Oh no. I don't know if I wanted to... Huh? I guess this one we can't, like... We can't replace. Oops. I thought I was hearing something. Damn it. Text on the screen. Power on. Basic systems. Mirror face error. I don't know. A lot of stuff. We can't press anything else here. Oh. Why can I not, like, plug this back in again? Hmm. Oops. Well, we can always just reload the area, I guess, to get things back. Switch on the device. Put a finger in the opening for blood sampling. What opening? Oh, this? Wait until the gene copying is complete. The data will be transferred automatically to our center. Remember, only people with HQ of 30 or higher are permitted to transfer. If the HQ verification is successful, and the data are submitted correctly, our operator will get in touch with you over the built-in communicator. The operator will run a diagnostic and start scanning your long-term memory. The operator will load your data to the transfer center. Transfer. Put your palm on the confirmation button. Establish visual contact with the image in on the look screen. You may blink, but do not look away. That is absolutely crucial. On a signal, automatic consciousness emulsion will be initiated in the recipient. Am I trying to, like, merge with this lady? Be prepared for an unusual effect. You will see yourself from the opposite end. Don't be nervous. Keep taking deep and even breaths. On a signal, press the confirmation button. Warning, the final stage is irreversible. By pressing the confirmation button, you transfer your original's right to the recipient. 30 plus mirror transfer center. Oh boy. Oh boy. Postcard with a view of the city. A sign below reads, Geneva is happy to receive guests with quot any quotients. Screw your quotients. Oh, lighter. Neat. Great. Don't think we can light anything else. And yeah, that... That debunks the thing with, like, oh, red items are probably useless. Nope. I mean, maybe this is technically useless, but at least it's not, like, without use. Oh my god. Doesn't seem like you can ever pick up anything inside of a drawer. Newspaper of useful advice. Whereas the previous problem was solved with the help of slanting stitches, Basting and tackling, tacking thread, basting, basting and tacking thread, I don't know, is best for working with felt. The recipient is unconscious. His bodily movements are compulsory and are a mirror reflection of the donor's. In essence, at this phase of the procedure, the donor controls both bodies. The recipient powers on the moment the two palms touch, but does not yet have access to his motor functions. By pressing his right palm to the recipient's left palm, and looking himself in the eyes, the donor initiates the transmission of memory. As was already mentioned, the mirror effect is critical for a su successful transfer. Therefore, do not disregard our advice and install a quality look screen on your future face. So the look screen just means like this, so that we can touch, hold hands, and then stare at each other? Is that it? Alright, I'm gonna give you your, your body back. Here you go. 
Is that it? Are we done? I'm, I've probably missed some things to read somewhere. But I think I might... Oh, yep. I nearly fell off the uh, on the other side. A board slipped underfoot. Tabaha screamed at me when I told him. If I fall behind the enclosure, there'd be no one to rescue me, he said. And he's right. The hell with those flower beds. Uh-huh. I remember where I saw a spot just like this, on a postcard. We'll look for it in the trash tomorrow. The nature of the virus agent is virtually unstudied. It is unknown how the desperate toxin particles replicate upon inf infiltrating the human body, nor why they specifically target embryonic cells. In the meantime, the epidemic is taking on colossal proportions, threatening humanity's very... Oh my god, we ran out. Okay, I thought that was going to be infinite. Okay, anything else? One last look? Anything that stands out? I don't know the password. We can sleep again. And I can't cancel this now. I can't skip that part. Not sure what that's supposed to be. All right. I think I'm ready to leave. I think. I think we can go. So, I mean, we could try this whole thing, but I kind of just want to, like, run around a little bit. We, we got to do the thing that I always do in every game. What the hell happened here? Oh, what is this? Ginger? Oh, I guess that's the root we, which we needed for something, so I don't need it right now. I'm gonna leave it. But, yeah, eventually we need that. It'll be fine. Don't worry about it. What's that, like, line right there? I don't know if that's a rendering thing, or if it's something... Because, yeah, we obviously have the main thing over there. What's this for? I'm not sure what this is for. Like, hitching something? Organic or mechanical? Oh, you can't stand on things you can grab. Too bad. Mortar and pestle must be somewhere in the crockery. Substance out of nothing. Oh my god, this is going to be reading forever. A curious physical phenomenon is being observed during experiments synchronizing neurochips with DNA copies. A condensate of unknown substance has been forming inside fully airproof sections of the res resonating mechanism. Data gleaned from its chemical properties is sure to send shockwaves across the scientific community, researchers claim. I am sure it will. I'm sure it will. Another car battery thing. I'm sliding. Very slowly sliding. I guess this game doesn't really do slopes very well. Hooray. I wasn't sure that was gonna work. Something edible, an indistinct taste. Is this edible? They, they look like rocks to me. The stand is mobile. There must have been something that attached to it. So we can fix this eventually? Maybe that'll fix the TV or something? Oh, and there was a ladder we could have taken up all along, I see. You just walk up the ladder, as you do. No hands needed.
It fits. I'll secure it later. All right. Guess I'm doing things out of order. This sliding is super weird. Like, if you stand on any slope whatsoever, you're just constantly sliding downward. No matter what the slant is or slope. The box is wired up. So that's what these wires are for. I can put batteries in the box and supply power to the yurt if need be. There is need! I want to watch TV! Damn it! Yeah, here's another battery. Okay, you can't like... Jump throw? To add, like, momentum to it? No. So, what what was the, like, the crockery? I'm not sure exactly where mortar and pestle would be. Is that the crockery? I know, I know the word, I just forget what it means. Alright, well... As I was saying, we need to do the classic thing that I do in every every game that has open world segments. We gotta just run and just see, like, how far can we run? Just away. Is there gonna be an invisible wall? Are we going to die? Are we going to just warp back or something? And I guess we were looking for things like down here anyway, right? Whatever it was, something growing down here. Don't have a reflection, so we can't see if I'm a human or not. Those red fruit on the tree look edible. I'll try and find something to use to knock them down. Just use a rock! What? What fruits? Oh, here. I feel like you really should just be able to grab a rock. So we gotta go all the way back and grab something I can throw at it. Let's just try that. I love that, like, painted sky. It looks so strange and, like, dreamlike. It's always nice when a game just goes for, like, an art design, art direction, instead of being like, let's make it as realistic as possible. It's, like, very clearly just, like, done for the aesthetics of it, the feel. Oh my god, we have more reading to do. Milligrams of emotions. It has been several years since the pages of this very magazine served as a forum for a, for a lively discussion of a wondrous discovery wherein a synchronizer somehow materialized a substance equivalent to emotions. It was pleasant to ponder the mysterious phenomenon, presuming it would never leave the confines of its lab. However, the phenomenon has since escaped, and by the looks of things, forced its way into our personal lives for years to come. With time, we will grow accustomed to the thought that our own emotions unwittingly produce a chemical element that even yesterday was not part of the periodic table. Accustomed to the knowledge that every emotion we experience adds a few milligrams of Passium-433 into a capsule in our chests. Yeah? Sounds like everyone is a robot at this point. Huh. So, wait, did she have one too? I didn't notice that. Was that the capsule that was, like, stuck in the machine, maybe? Sorry, I need your tits for a second. Put, put them down. Like here? Or here, maybe? So, like, if we take this thing... ...and shove it in here? Yeah, I see. Okay, alright, we're, like, piecing it together. Still just 93, though. Yeah. And I'm not sure about this other thing. Uh, where did that go? I don't know. The thing I took off from here. Wait, have I, did I read that? Stop. 
Yeah, okay, that I did read. Key to the front door, hasn't been used in a while. I missed that. Okay, Ongots, Enabish, Plum Olive. So we're trying to just find different HQs from different, like, materials, I guess. Oh boy, uh, hey, do you want... Sorry? Hey, do you want this hat? Nope. Oh, right, yeah, I, I put it, like, behind here. And now I can't grab it anymore. It is unreachable to mortal hands. Oh, there we go. That doesn't work. It's not, like, in here, is it? Oh, it is. Yeah. Still nothing, though. Can't turn her off whenever I want. So, it looks like we probably need something else in here. Didn't I see something very similar looking to that? I don't know, but yeah, we're running out of time for this episode. Let's, uh, let's grab something. It's like a, a kettle or something, I guess. Just anything that's, like, heavy. A bucket. Let's grab a bucket. That's not very heavy, but let's see if it works. And I'm just gonna see if we can get some fruit. And then, like, maybe run off in that direction. It did not work. I, I guess maybe we would wanted to, like, bring the axe. One sec. Oh, I can't take the axe. Never mind. Okay, let's just start running. Let's just start running in a direction and just see how far I can run. But yeah, this certainly is running a lot better than I remember it. I remember running, like, somewhere around here just to, like, test out the recording years and years and years ago. And yeah, it was, like, horrendous. Again, it's like, we get some minor stutters when it's, like, loading new things, but otherwise it's, it's not too bad. Definitely a little, little framey. It's not perfect, I would say. Doesn't feel like we're hitting 120 or even 60 at times. Oh. Warning. Like, locust people will get you. I don't know. I was expecting there to just be, like, a newspaper cut out, just lying on the floor here, or the ground. Somehow. Undamaged. Oh. I guess we don't... Oh. I'm not sure if we have air. I mean, I guess I'm not human, so maybe we can just breathe underwater. Or, I mean, we don't breathe at all, I suppose. I'm kind of surprised we can even go this far. Yeah, that's still visible, so it's not just, like, some weird visual thing. Is that supposed to be smoke? I don't know. Yeah, there's one as well. A little, like, black line. Is this for, like, electricity, or is it, like, a, a rail... What's it called? Not a monorail, uh... Like a ski lift kind of thing. I don't know. What do you call those? Gondola? Yeah. Yeah, that looks like it's for travel. Where's my house? My beautiful house? Is that there? I 
Oh my god, you can read even this? Inspection results. Absence of foreign noise or vibration. No volatile currents observed. Instrument readings are within the 5 to 6 T range. Temperature in the pocket does not exceed plus 90 Celsius. Date of inspection. That's like 30 years ago or 20 years ago. Batsaya Gambat and Gambaya Chinbat. Great names. S8 Engineering Corps. Type. Type PSG. Okay. Oh, there we go. Yeah. I thought it was saying, like, type this, but no, it's the type it is. Ah, let me up. Don't think we can get up here, no. Alright, well, let's keep running. I might speed up or skip ahead a little bit if we're just gonna be running and running and running. I just have to see how far we can go. I don't know if I should go over there as well. For now, I'm just gonna follow this line. Yeah, I really wish you could save wherever you wanted, like proper saves. And just like load from the position you were you were at. Yeah, okay, so all of these are the same. They're not that insane to put like unique text on every single piece of equipment. We can just keep running, huh? Oh, yeah, some stuttering. We can just keep running and running and running. But why? Also, would it be nice to have, like, toggle run instead of holding shift? I think that might have been a thing you can do in uh, the config file. Though I think that's just, like, the engine, so maybe the game itself won't allow that. But I might want to test that. Also, it did mention something about a console key. So I'm curious about, like, I always, like... You know, no clipping and speeding around in games, like, after you're done with them, just to check things out. Oh? Gerbera Garden. Is that this? Yeah, we have to go to these at some point. Yeah, it's there now. Sure looks like it's smoke. But man, it's kind of insane that we can like just run this far. It doesn't seem like there's any point to. Maybe there is. Oh! Here we go. Okay. I think we've reached the end. I don't know if this is like I'm entering a sphere, or if I'm exiting a sphere. Well, let's see what happens. Well, oh. Same dream again. Of some high-rise buildings. And then I wake up in bed. Oh! I do not wake up in bed. Okay. Well, I'm gonna leave it off here, and I guess we'll see, like, if I just quit here, do I respawn back back in the house, or do I respawn here, since, like, oh, maybe now this is my checkpoint or something. So if, if we do start here, I'm gonna definitely run over there and check that. And possibly over here, which is gonna take a while, and then we'll actually, like, properly play the game. Maybe. There's probably gonna be more reading. But the game has begun. Finally. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.